on these adventures and Pixar makes such, such great films. It's, it's good to see you guys resume uh, making these great films before us. Um, but this this film seemed very personal to to your story. And when I look at that, you wrote and directed Monsters also, and I wonder was that part of your story somehow too? Uh, was it elements of there? You know, uh, the thing with with Monsters University is it wasn't at all mm. part of my story personally, and yeah. and it was a unique experience because I and I think we both did. We so believe what it's about the idea of uh, when you hit a failure. Um, what do you do next and how do you move on and how does that lead you to your next to your real goal in life and um but it was a challenge because it wasn't something that i had experienced but we right. worked with so many people who had mm -hmm. uh, it was something i believed and um exactly. and i think part of the reason why we then went on to make this film was to say okay that's great to make something that you truly believe now let's try something that we believe and have fully experienced right yeah. I wonder, like, because I know the process for animated films takes so much longer than uh, doing a, doing a live action movie. But when you have elements that are, are in this place real personal, but maybe trying to tell you another message and the message changes over time, mm. do you go back and does does there end up being like a lot of revisions in the film process to the animated film that that you that you started making maybe more than a live action maybe? Oh, I don't know about more than live action, but yes, yes there's tons. Yeah, tons. <laughs> yeah. And I think especially because we're starting with, uh, we start with literally nothing, right? So we don't start with, we start with an idea, a kernel of an idea, and then we kind of expand it and grow it and then write it and board it, and it's this whole process. And so I think, um, you know, many live action films take even longer um, to kind of get made and everything. But um, for us, the, the iterative process of kind of trying something looking at it, watching it, seeing if it works, uh, and really examining it, and then if it doesn't work well, change it. That is something that um, that we are, we're really pretty good at at Pixar, and we do it, we do it a lot. Um, Millions of versions of this movie. Yes. Exactly. A whole other movie's worth. <laughs> worth. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> movie's worth. <laughs> uh, is, the, is the story done without the art? Or, or, you, or you have to do, as a screenwriter, do you have to write it and create some of this art beforehand mm. when making uh, animated great stories. That's a good question because I think different people work differently. Uh, yeah. Some of the directors like to have some artwork up front to inspire the writing. Um, and we certainly did a little bit. A little bit, yeah. For the most part, uh, we begin writing just from the page, from imagination, and then, and then the team comes on and they really start to uh, bring it to life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and then we storyboard, which is you know different kind of of art because we have to kind of figure out what the characters look like and early versions of them, and so that part's really kind of fun. The early storyboarding yeah. um, when you're going from the page to kind of the first little drawings, yeah. And lastly, this this city, I know this, this is a personal tragedy, but the city has lost uh, Kobe Bryant. A lot of people are trying to move onward from. From that, uh, how could I know? They, I know they had a short amount of time in this film to be. I don't want to spoil it, but that yeah. that moment they had to be inspired. How could some some of us, any of us, not celebrities, like inspire little kids, just for a moment? You know, uh, if we just have a moment, just what can we do? Right. Oh, to inspire. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, I think it doesn't always have to be a family member that is there for a kid. Uh, we have so many great teachers and friends. Um, I think it's really important to to um, give that support back and, and encourage kids to uh, take risks and try things. And um, uh, I think it's cr crucial that we, we do that. Yeah, and to just know that if you, if you look around, there are generally, there is a support system around us for, for the most part somewhere. Sometimes you have to look really hard to find it and you have to work at it. Yeah. But um, just having that support around you and uh, if one support system is gone, then you kind of get the opportunity to move onward and look elsewhere.